Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, October 15th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a mask from Mozambique, a picture of a mask. This is part of the Lupico, which is a kind of dance that they would do in Mozambique, dance with masks. But as the politics changed, some of the younger generation fled north to Tanzania where they learned new influences and then they brought back these new cultures. This is a, a mask of a Sikh man. So the wearer of the mask would be looking through the mouth. He would wear a big cloth over his body and he would dance to represent the new cultural influence. Change is a part of the human condition. We're always experiencing new things and exposing each other to these new things and new ideas. What masks do we wear and what masks do we put on? And who are we underneath all those masks? Paul is getting a chance to make his testimony in front of King Herod Agrippa in the book of Acts. He's trying to describe how the resurrection of Jesus from the dead fulfilled the Jewish concept of the Messiah, but by battling death, not by battling the Roman Empire. And that in the resurrection, Jesus opened the way, not just for Jews, but also for Gentiles, for anyone that wanted to join him in this new resurrection life. King Agrippa hears this testimony and Festus, the governor, is there as well. And Festus is getting more and more frustrated until he cries out and says, you're just crazy, Paul. But Paul looks to the king and says, I think the king knows I'm not crazy. He knows about Jesus. The question is, do, do you believe, king? I want you to be like me, Paul says, but without the chains. So he's very astute. He's calling out to the spirit of this king to believe in Jesus, but yet he's also being humble. I want you to be like me, but without the chains. King Agrippa, though, is wearing a mask. He is playing a role. You can see through the verses that he's drawn to Paul, that he's drawn to Jesus, but he doesn't want to break his popularity with the Jews. And so he says, you know, I could have set you free if you hadn't appealed to the emperor, which is true. But Paul appealed to the emperor to save his life because the governor before Festus was going to send him to Jerusalem to die. So King Agrippa, who would have set Paul free, instead plays his role, keeps his mask on and delivers Paul to Rome. Paul is put on a ship where he will sail to Rome now. And he is closer and closer to his time of death. But yet here he was arguing before a king and getting the king to really consider who knows what was happening in Agrippa's heart. You see, there's a person behind that mask. And even when you talk to someone about God's love and how much they're adored by God, they may not hear you. They may reject you entirely but you never know what's happening behind the masks that they wear. I wonder about this King Agrippa. I think he heard something that made his heart long for Jesus. And so he plays it safe, keeps his mask on, but he doesn't kill Paul or send him back to Jerusalem to be pulverized by the mob. He sends him on to Rome trusting, I believe, that in Rome he'll be treated justly. But that is a story yet to come. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of our lives. We thank you that in Jesus we are able to take off our masks and be vulnerable with one another as he was so vulnerable, laying out his life on the cross, showing us his wounds and the resurrected form. 
Help us to dare to take off our masks with people we trust and to show them who we truly are. We thank you for this day, for the miracle of life itself. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for today. Almighty God, we ask you to bless those who are struggling after these hurricanes. We ask you to bless those who are ill, those who are grieving, those who feel lost or alone, those who struggle with mental illness or addiction. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of anyone you know who needs prayer. Lord, call us into your service today. Help us have the courage to show your love to the world, to forgive. Help us, Lord, to walk in your ways all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.